This video is about uh, optimization problems in calculus. For number one, an open box is made from uh, eight inch by twelve inches sheet of uh, paper by cutting equal squares from the four corners and uh, folding up the edges. Determine the dimensions of the box that has the maximum possible value. Let's draw a diagram to show the problem. We know for this uh, paper, we have a uh, width is uh, 8 inches and uh, here is uh, 12 inches. We need to cut uh, equal square. So let's cut this. This is equal square. We want to make uh, a box to have the maximum possible value. First of all, for the word uh, problem, we need to set up the variable. So we use uh, V stand for the volume. Assume this V for volume. And the X for the length of cutting equal square. We put this is X. So x for the length of cutting equal square. Now second step, we will working out the equation. We know the volume for a box rectangular box that is the length times width times the height. From this uh, diagram, we could uh, say the length of this box will be 12 minus 2x. For the width, uh, it's uh, here, that will be 8 minus 2x. The height will be 2x. When you fold up uh, the edge of this uh, box, therefore we can write down 12 minus 2x and uh, 8 minus 2x, then times uh, x. First of all, we need to expand these uh, expressions by doing the folio. 8 will be 12 times 8 and 12 times negative 2x. It will be 96 minus 24x. Keep doing, you will get negative 16x plus 4x squared. Then you multiply by this x. We do the distributive property Again, you will get the 96x minus these two combined like terms. It will be 40x squared plus 4x to the third power. Then the third step, you will work out the derivative v prime equals 96 minus 40 times 2 times x to the first power plus 4 times 3 x squared. Organize, you will get 96 minus 80x plus 12x squared. The fourth step, you will make this derivative equal to 0 to solve. You will get the x1 equals. Use graphing calculator, get the zeros of this quadratic function. 
you will get the two roots. One is 1.57, the other is 5.10. So we will be working on the y1 equals. You will get the 96 times 1.57 minus 40 times 1.57 squared plus 4 times 1.57 to the third power equals 67.6 inches to the third power. For the y2, you will get 96 times 5.10 minus 40 times 5.10 square plus 4 times 5.10 to the third power equals you will get the negative volume that's why this is a cross out this is cross out we only have a 1.57 and 67.6 let's go back check the problem they said Determine the dimensions of the box. Therefore, we need to work on the length. It will be 12 minus 2 times 1.57 equals. You will get 8.86 for the length, 4.86 for width, and 1.57 inches for the height. This will be the final answer.